What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now I did say, hey, tomorrow I should have my in-game team ready, but unfortunately I'm a busy guy, I had a lot to do yesterday, and I didn't quite get it done, should be done soon though. For today, we're going to be testing out some teams I came up with um, on the Legacy VGC Series 8 ladder. If you don't know what it is, it's an unofficial uh, showdown ladder that allows you to just test out things for Series 8. And I guess like there is no such thing as the official showdown ladder, since showdown is an unofficial battle simulator, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, today I'm going to be trying out a concept I had for Zamazenta with Behemoth Bash, Wide Guard, Close Combat, and Snarl. Next to a Life Orb G-Max Lapras, Whimsicott, Arcanine, Spectre, and uh, Clefairy. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, and subscribe to the channel because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day right now. What Pokemon that isn't restricted do you think will be the best Dynamax user? I think it's like a tie between Colossal and Lapras. These guys are just insane in the format, and I feel like they're going to be really solid. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This might be a bit of a shorter video, probably only about like 20 minutes because I do have a class today. <laughs> Hopefully, um, everything's all good, though. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some good games in. Now, something you'll notice is the ladder is kind of slow, because it is, it's not like the normal showdown ladder, so it'll load things up just a bit slower than usual. This team, I mean, Lapras isn't great here, and Zamazenta's kind of fearful of, uh... Actually, no, I can definitely take on the Urshfu just fine. I would say that this team does not like Spectre very much. Like, a lot of their team gets hit really hard by Spectre. I have to be careful with the Urshifu, right? But next to Clefairy, I should be fine. I might actually just open up Lapras, though. Life Orb Lapras does a lot to this team. We'll do that. Uh, Zamazenta in the back isn't awful. And I think my last Pokemon... I could go Clefairy, and I could also go Spectre. I'm kind of feeling the Spectre here, because I'm a little bit scared of Metagross, but... Yeah, we'll go Spectre. Spectre should be fine. I don't really need Clefairy for this matchup. That should be good. Now, you might be wondering, why Expert about Spectre? And my answer to that is pretty pretty uh, lame. It's because I already put the Life Orb on the Lapras. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, Life Orb Lapras isn't terrible, right? Oh, they do not want to eat this hit. They do not want to take this uh, Freeze Drive. They shouldn't have any way of one-shotting my Lapras. I feel like they might Dynamax the Palkia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Freeze Dry, and I'm actually going to Fake Tears, and nothing really switches into this hit, unless it's Incineroar. And I'm not going to Dynamax yet, right? I just want to hit him with this times four move just to let him know, like, hey, man, careful. This is a life orb Lapras, you know? They might be weakness policy, but I should be fine. Like, there's no way they one-shot this Lapras. It's a freaking Lapras. Then again, I'm pretty sure this thing does get, like, thunder. <laughs> I don't know. I might be in over my head here. I might be in over my head. There's the fake tears. There's the tailwind. There's the max quake. I mean, they're going to eat the hit just fine now, right? But... It's not too enjoyable. Awesome. Awesome. And they're not weakness policy too. So what I can do here is actually just G-Max Resonance and Tailwind. And that's really important because not only am I knocking out their Dynamax Pokemon early, but uh, I'm also going to be able to save the Lapras and get off my screens, which is going to be huge for the rest of the game. Especially with Zamazenta in the bag. Zamazenta behind screens is absolutely insane. Alright, they go for the Taunt. That is a little bit unfortunate, but... I keep my Lapras, get my screens off. Late game Tailwind doesn't seem too bad. They don't have anything that can like beast boost or anything, so Lapras is fine on the field. I, I don't mind losing it early. There's the Urshifu. I'm probably going to lose my Lapras early, right? But it's all good. Zamazenta is going to mess this thing up. Um, I could go for a Moonblast. Since I am Focus Sash, I think I, I, I'll, I'll just do that, you know? I'll just go for the G-Max Resonance and I'll go for the Moonblast. Um... Eh, there isn't too much of a reason not to go for Geyser now that I think about it. The reason I'm going for Geyser here is because, like, what are they? What switches in, you know? Alright, no confusion. They're choice bands, so they lose that thing. Let me get in the Zamazenta. Zamazenta looks like it's going to go insane in the endgame. What do they have for it? Incineroar? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'm Zamazenta. Let me, uh... I mean, Spectre is fine for the endgame. Um... Maybe I actually just switch out Zamazenta here to make it so I'm not intimidated. We'll go Spectre here, and I'll Moonblast on the Tornadus to break a Sash. If it ends up coming to that. I just don't want to be at minus one. It makes this endgame a lot easier. And I have three turns of screens. I should be fine. 
All right, cool. I am also faster now, so I can tailwind up and go for this Shadow Ball into the Tornadus. Tornadus isn't really scary, you know? I should be all right. And it's not like uh, Incineroar plus whatever knocks out uh, Zamazenta. So I can just focus down the Tornadus first, go for a Behemoth Bash, and then I'll follow it up with a close combat. As they end up going for a Parting Shot, interesting. Okay, this got a little bit more concerning. I suppose I can focus down Incineroar, because I'm going to lose my screens now. Maybe I just Moonblast. I'll just focus down this thing with Moonblast and stuff, or actually no, I should be fine to fake tears. Sorry, this is such an awkward endgame. Because, like, I want to get Zamazenta in, but I also don't want to get it in and, like, have it just have to 2v1 something. Alright, yeah, we're good. Because I just close combat into the Incineroar now. Or not even, I'll just Behemoth Bash and Mud Shot. Because that'll KO the Tornadus, for sure. I'm faster than Tornadus, I made sure. 180, 179. Yeah, okay, that was useful. <laughs> I knew that the 179 speed set would, would matter, or the 180 speed set. I knew it would eventually matter. They try to Tailwind, but it fails. I missed my Mud Shot, which kind of sucks. Behemoth Bash will definitely KO. Crit did not matter. As they go for a Flare Blitz and burn me, that is kind of annoying, but it's not like Close Combat Mud Shot doesn't knock it out. It's still a Close Combat from Azacian, or from Azamazenta. We should be fine. You know, unless I miss. Unless I miss my Mud Shot, in which case I might not be fine. Okay, we're good. GG, well played. That was an interesting endgame. That was a very interesting endgame. By the way, this is an extremely bulky Spectrier, just because Spectrier wants to be bulky in a metagame where uh, Calyrex can run around. Ooh, as we face our first Sword Dog. Okay, so their Dynamax target is likely going to be either like a Meteor Beam Celesteela or a um, Weakness Policy... What's it called? Weakness Policy uh, Moltres. I can pretty comfortably lead off Lapras here. Whimsicott. I definitely want Arcanine. And I don't feel uncomfortable bringing Zamazenta. I don't feel uncomfortable bringing the Zamazenta. And I'm not leading off with Arcanine, because uh, in a Spectre matchup, you definitely want to be able to catch them off guard, switch it in on a Behemoth Blade. You definitely want to be careful with it, you know? Snarl might be really useful too on lead. Actually, I don't remember if I led with it. I don't think I want to lead with it, but <laughs> I, I literally just forgot what I, what I clicked on my lead. So we're just going to pretend like I know. We're just going to pretend like I remember. I'm sorry, guys. It's almost lunchtime, and I have a lot on my plate today, so I'm just kind of all over the place. Okay. That's fine, actually. Um, I don't mind them really Dynamaxing here, because... Hmm. Do I protect and in... Yeah, I definitely protect in Resonance. I'm Life Orb, so it doesn't really matter, right? Um, they, they're probably going to fake out the Whimsicott. I protect and I resonance, and even though I'm probably going to give him weakness policy, I get screens in exchange, so it's kind of worth it. There's the Snarl. Actually, a really smart play by them. So they do get weakness policy, but as long as I get Tailwind up, I should be able to beat them down with Zamazenta. So I'll just resonance once more into them. I want to get them in range of Zamazenta. Uh, and I'll tailwind up here as my computer's reminded me, hey Marcus, you got a physics lecture soon. Alright. They go for the airstream into the Whimsicott. And they parting shot on my Lapras. That's fine. Because Behemoth, ba Behemoth Bash is definitely KOing this Moltres. Let's see if they bring in the Zacian. Yeah, there's the Zacian crowned. I should be able to bring in the Zamazenta here and just switch out my Lapras. There's no reason to keep it in. So Zacian, I just go for the Behemoth Blade, or the Behemoth Bash. Why? I keep mixing up my Pokemon names. The Zamazenta, I go for Behemoth Bash into the Moltres, and I switch out my Lapras for my Arcanine. That should be safe. They do have a couple of speed boosts, but behind screens and the fact that I am freaking Zacian, or Zamazenta, dang it, these, these guys, like, I can't get their names right. <laughs> The fact that I'm Zamazenta just kind of means I'm going to live. Alright, get him down to neutral. Outspeed Behemoth Bash. They go for a substitute, interesting. 
Um, nothing that I'm really too concerned about. Because I can just Heat Wave. <laughs> they could Swords Dance on me, right? But Zamazenta should outpace it. Or it should, I should be fine just to like stay in, you know? I could even switch out into uh, something else. Um, could be Weakness Pol- No, it's not Weakness Policy. I could Snarl. Snarl on the Celesteela. Doesn't seem like an awful option. And uh, I'll just double Snarl, to be honest. I don't think they're running Swords Danceation. I'm pretty certain that's not what they're running. If they are, I've already lost. I think. Maybe. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just go for a freaking Behemoth Bash and Heat Wave. Behemoth Bash should break the sub since it's neutral on Zacian. Yeah, that's good damage. Behemoth Blade does nothing to Arcanine behind screens. Leech Seed doesn't really matter. Um, they can't defend versus this Heat Wave since I'm faster. They would have to protect. So I'll Heat Wave here. Uh, and I'll also just go for a... Hmm. I think I just Behemoth Bash into Zacian anyway, so they might have to take a full power Heat Wave. They can go into Incinera or whatever, but I should be fine. That actually takes more than I expected, which is nice. Alright. Um, I suppose it would make sense for them to fake out into Zamazenta, or even the Arcanine. I think it's within range of close combat, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna close combat into that Incinera. It might not be. I mean, this is a really powerful hit, right? Base 130 attack, but I am at minus one. But it is stab. I think I should be fine. I think I should be okay. And again, Incinera is the Pokemon that lives every hit forever. Alright, I call the fake out correctly. Close combat. We don't KO. That kind of sucks, but he's got the wrong berry. Awesome. <laughs> they got the wrong berry. Uh, and they are leftovers on Celesteela, so... Uh, what I can do here is pretty reliably go for a Hydro Pump into the Incinera. And the reason I feel comfortable going for Hydro Pump into this thing is because they can't switch into Zacian. I should be faster, and as long as I connect, I'm good. Zacian does not want to eat that hit. Okay, cool. And I can actually cycle in Arcanine and stuff, so I think I win. I have to be really careful with Celesteela, but I should be fine. I recently switched to Safety Goggles, so <laughs> maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm going to lose here. Um, but I would say my play is to... I probably just let Lapras go down to Zacian. Do I eat a close combat? I don't know. I don't know if I eat a close combat. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. And I'm going to switch out to Zamazenta. This is going to be a really close endgame. I really hope they target into Lapras. <laughs> okay, that's good. They missed their Leech Seed, which is huge. And now I should be able to just go for Heat Wave. And uh, Behemoth Bash. And I double into, Z into the Zacian, since they're likely not running Protect if they have Sub right now. There we go. Good damage. This thing has to take a full power Heat Wave. Connects. Does about half to it. They're running Leech Seed. I'll just Heat Wave once more. Close combat. I think I'm fine as long as they don't have Protect. And even if they do have Protect, I should live the hit. And Close Combat into Heat Wave. Granted, I Connect should be fine. So no double Protect and I probably win. Celesteel is always an annoying Pokemon. I preferred when Celesteel was offensive. <laughs> Offensive Celesteela isn't nearly as annoying as defensive Celesteela. As it looks like I missed my Heat Wave. That kind of sucks, bro. But I think I still win just because Close Combat did so much. It depends if they're running Flamethrower. I might not win. Dang it, that sucks, man. Tell me you're running like Heavy Slam and I still win. All right, I guess they do have Heavy Slam, but tell me you're running like, I don't know, Air Slash. <laughs> I'd prefer to take the Air Slash. How much did that do? How much do I take? Heavy slam? Oh, I won. Okay, yeah. Close combat. <laughs> that was annoying. Oh my god. They would have to get like a triple protect here or something. Close combat does so much. 48 to 52. Alright, yeah. They need a double. Do not get the double. Not today, please. Not today. Come on. Come on, Zamazenta. And if you do get the double, which they don't go for it, that's fine. GG. Well played. I think I have time for one more game. Hopefully. <laughs> I got nine minutes before my lectures. Let's do one more game. 
So far, not a bad live at all. Ooh, we are facing expanding force spam. Okay. Here, I definitely want to go Zamazenta Arcanine. Lapras in the back. And I think my last Pokemon is going to be... Whimsicott. I almost want Clefairy just to eat hits better, but honestly... All I have to do is click Wide Guard and Snarl on lead, and I'm fine. And if they end up leading off with Dracovish, I would just switch out the Arcanine for the Lapras, and I'm cool. This team, I feel like, gets disassembled by mine very easily. I don't know. For all I know, I could lose this match really badly, and you guys are going to comment, Moxie boosted so bad at this game! You know, something like that, but... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If you guys have watched up to this point, uh, do me a favor. Comment Zambazenta OP or something. I don't know. I used to do that. I used to be like, hey, if you watched up to this point, comment this. And I, there's no jokes to be made within this video. I don't know. <laughs> there's usually something funny that happened at that point. Come on, man. I'm on a timer. I got an eight minute timer to finish this match. Can I zoom in? Is that a thing? Okay, I'll zoom in. Hopefully that doesn't... Nah, that looks bad. We'll go with that. Because I feel like if I zoom in here, what's going to happen is the moves are going to like... I have to like scroll down to click my moves. We'll see. We'll see. But he's tinking. He's giving me the... He's giving me the big tink. Hopefully he chooses soon. I'd rather not end the video on a really awkward... Hey, I'm sorry. The guy took too long. Note, you know? Alright, there we go. As they lead off uh, Whimsicott to Raladon. Okay, I'm pretty cool with this. I'm pretty cool with this because I just snarl, man. I just double snarl, man. Or maybe a protect here because they could just go for a fake tears. Fake tears would be really annoying. And Duraldon doesn't do anything to Zamazenta. Except like Iron Defense Body Press. That'd be annoying. But if you're leading off this way, I really doubt you have it. Likely just gonna go for that actually. I would assume they're gonna tailwind and switch out here, which is fine. So I get my snarl. I'm cool with that. Uh, I'm not too concerned about Incineroar. A Willowis would be annoying though. What I could do is just go into Lapras and get in my own Whimsicott. We'll do that. We'll double out. Here's the Dracovish. Okay, yeah, we're good. They have no real freeze dry switches, just because. Like, let's think about this. Like, what what comes in Duraldon? It would have to be a salt vest, and they also just revealed they didn't bring the Mewtwo, which is a smart choice by them. Don't get me wrong, but also, you didn't bring the Mewtwo, bro. You didn't bring the Mewtwo. Actually, let me Dynamax here. I don't care. Go for the Max Geyser with the Incineroar. I refuse to be a victim to uh, Incineroar KOing me and living hits. It really has no business living. <laughs> I feel like from this range, Max Geyser with a Life Orb should KO a non-Assault Vest Incineroar. And if it is Assault Vest, then I, I don't have anything to worry about anyways, because I just don't want to get snarled. You know it'd be really funny? If uh, they didn't account for Water Absorb and they just healed my Lapras. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Tailwind up. Psychic Fangs, interesting. I KO the uh, Incineroar. Unfortunately, I can't really go for screens in front of this Dracovish. And we don't really get a read on the item. That kind of looked Choice Banded, just by the damage it did. I think what I want to do here is G-Max Resonance and uh, Fake Tears into the Dracovish. Because what that'll do is it'll allow me to knock out the Dracovish 100% of the time and get my screens up without having to worry about them removing them. Which I feel like that might be their play. I feel like that's going to be their play. Because Dracovish doesn't drop to a regular resonance. Not even with the life orb. Duraldon's probably a solid Dynamax option for them, but with Snarl's <laughs> with Snarl's Amazenta in the back, like it's it's not even a threat. Fake Tears, Psychic Fangs. This should KO. Awesome. Now they still have the Whimsicott. I can't I can't stress that enough. The Whimsicott could be annoying, but I kind of just have to go Arcanine here and uh, double into the Whimsicott. I could even Snarl right now. 
I might. I'll just go for the resonance and uh, the snarl. And then it's really hard to lose to Duraldon. Even with like fake tier spam, it's really hard to lose behind screens with all this, you know? As they end up not going for a fake tiers, I think I eat this hit then. Yeah, I eat the hit. I end up winning with Zamazenta in the end regardless, so I'll freeze dry here, let, let him pick up the KO, go for a Snarl, lower the damage output. Zamazenta Lapras is kind of insane. I feel like if you're going to run Zacian, Zamazenta, or Eternatus, you're going to end up running Lapras just because they, it like it puts in so much work as a Dynamax option. Or I've seen like Zacian and Colossal teams, those are also really good. It's one or the other, like they're so good. When you run a solid Dynamax option next to those insane Ubers, like you have a lot, you have a lot going for you there. As my opponent is struggling to reconcile with the fact that they've lost, they're like, what, what shall I do? Shall I KO the Lapras? I believe so. They, uh, they fail to KO anything. Freeze dry again. Yeah, let me just get in Zamazenta. Let me just get in the Zamazenta. Let me just teach him a lesson here. Go for a Snarl. Lapras has no damage output. I just want to end this game with a close combat. Zamazenta might be insane. It might be like, okay, it might be insane. We'll figure it out. Go for that close combat, switch in the Lapras. That should be fine. And I'm just switching in the Lapras just so Zamazenta can have a cool little turn here. <laughs> As they forfeit, they said, I am not going to get close combated. Unfortunately for me, can't end it with a bang. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for the video. Sorry if it was just a bit shorter than usual. Uh, I do have stuff to do today. But yeah, this team seems pretty all right. I kind of like what it's uh, what it's doing here. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.